there's been a lot of talk about AI. I've been talking with the VCs that I work with, the CEOs that I work with. And what's interesting about it, obviously there's a lot of opportunity there, but there's also a lot of fear here. And that fear is leading to some odd behaviors. And I'm seeing it in two approximate ways, really. There's the kind of fear of the unknown, you know, fear of the Terminator. And then there's the worst one, which I think is really affecting VCs and well, and to certain CEOs of high growth companies, which is the fear of missing out, which is FOMO. They believe they're missing a wave here or something's different. And I've been telling them all a story, which I think will help you folks out there to truly understand what's going on here, or at least give you a framework to think about what's going on here. I want to talk about a trend that happened a couple of hundred years ago during the Industrial Revolution. And that's where the, many of the steam um, mills in the north of England, operated by steam, river power, they instigated and created jobs called the head of electricity. So they would create these jobs as head of electricity, which to us seems ludicrous. Back then it made complete sense. These people who were head of electricity, typically young men, technically savvy, and they were out there promising and creating spaces for these mills to be fully automated. You know, they could run 24 hours a day. Electricity was going to be the saviour of the industry. And, you know, looking back on it, of course it was. It looks to us, looking back as a kind of an idiosyncrasy, a head of electricity seems like a strange idea. But what it's interesting to look at is understanding that these days, you know, you wouldn't have a company that has, you wouldn't have a startup that has a head of electricity. That would be ludicrous. Well, of course you would, because electricity is everywhere. It's just, it's just ubiquitous. It's a commodity at this point. And you can start to think about that in a similar way you can start to think about AI. Is this truly revolutionary? Well, of course it is. And I'm sure electricity felt like it was at the time. Is it something that can be commoditized and included in many or all products that are out there right now? Well, probably yes, because that's certainly what we're seeing is that everybody has access to it. Yeah, sure, there's a cost there, but the ability for it to be like almost ubiquitous in a lot of the products that we want and the barrier to entry to adding it to your product is pretty low. The uses of it, on the other hand, are very different. And the same is true of electricity. We don't back startups that use electricity. You back startups that have ideas that along the way use electricity. You know, electric cars are a good example of that. And so what we're thinking about here, and that's the way to think and frame about AI, is AI is an enabler. And if you find yourself thinking, well, sure, Joe, that's a lovely story, but this is different this time. This is very different this time. Take a step back and look at yourself and think, well, where am I operating from here? Is this a bit of fear? Is this a bit of excitement? Is there an emotional reaction to this? Because at the time, it can feel like this is a wave. If I don't catch this wave, I'm lost. Okay, I'm going to FOMO, fear of missing out. If we don't catch this wave, we're not going to be there. But if we look at things like electricity, electricity was the tide rising for everybody. Okay. Everything got better because everybody had electricity. It wasn't only certain mills that had it. Maybe it was at first, but eventually everybody caught up. And the same is true here. This can feel like a wave, but then the tide coming in can feel like a wave. Really, what you've got to truly understand is this different. Okay, And you can look at other situations where this has happened, like a gold rush. Is that a wave or is that the tide rising? Interesting. Railway mania, which was a big one in the UK, a lot of people lost a lot of money. Was that tide or was that wave? And that was the two kind of wrapped up into one. Ultimately, looking back, it was the tide rising. Crypto, similarly, was that a wave or was that the tide rising? Looking back on it, it seems like it was a wave. Who knows? You can start to think about these things in, in both of those terms. Is this a head of electricity? Is this something that will be ubiquitous across everything? Is this the tide rising for everybody? And when you think it, think it through as being the tide rising, we think, well, how can we take advantage of this rising tide? Okay. How can we get there? How can we use this technology to up-level our product? Because everybody else is going to be doing that. It's not going to give us an edge because, again, the barrier to entry for this is particularly low. Now, if you're a VC, probably shaking your head at me, I'd love to know what you think about this. But the reality is the uses of AI is a far more interesting point, not AI in itself. Unless you're an open AI provider where you are the electricity generator that everybody else plugs in, then hey, maybe it's something worth pursuing. But the reality comes from what this is used for. What's that electricity used for? That's where the real business opportunity is going to be. And that's really where the money's going to be made for everybody. So take a step back, breathe. Is this a wave? Is this the tide rising? Do we need to create a hell of electricity, head of AI? Or is this something that's just going to happen in itself, by itself? Think these things through and you'll certainly feel better and be prepared for this inevitability that it feels like right now that AI is going to be across everything.